All right, we're back with another round of weekly Q&As. Last week, I forgot about it because, I don't know, I was just too busy farming other content. But this is where you, you ask, I will answer to my best. Go ahead. If no one asks, if no one questions in the next five seconds, I will just end this video. Five. Four. Do I have any allergies? Not that I'm aware of. There's never been anything that I ate that gave me bad allergies. There was this one time that I ate, I think, Mediterranean food. I think it might have been the hummus that gave me rashes and hives all over my body. So that might have been an allergic reaction, or maybe it was just bad food. I'm not sure. Do I have, why do I have a towel in my chair? So, hygienics. The towel gets replaced every other day. I, it's a nice chair I have, and I don't want to get my chair all, like, fucking, you know, doused with my fucking bodily sweat and shit, right? Like, it's summertime, it gets hot, people start sweating. I don't want that shit on my nice chair, so the towel is there. Longest edge session? That's a sub goal. Did I skip Tanya for the next community series poll? So, if Tanya is going to have a season 2 coming out this year or next year, I will most likely ignore it. I will ignore Tanya with the same idea that I ignore ReZero and Overlord. But the purpose of the new community poll again is to see if those people, new people, want to find something else they want to watch after ReZero. And if they do want Tanya, then it's kind of working backwards, right? But I will most likely ignore Tanya if Season 2 is pretty much confirmed for 2025. What is my address? That's another sub goal. Did Shikanoku fall off in terms of viewership? Yes. In terms of what people thought the show was? I'm not sure because they're imagining a place where, again, the expectations, the marketing, the viral openings, the trailers, they went too crazy. People had a wrong idea of what the show could deliver. And episode one might have done that, but after that, you know, a lot of people are pissed off. I just feel sad because I enjoy Nokutan. It's just a cute, dumb show, but. A lot of people a little bit harsh on it because they expected more. Will I watch any SEO progressive movies? Um, if the time permits it, but it's not on my priority list at all. How well do I th would think Aon Koji would do in Reaser World? He would do so well that it would be boring to watch. Like, the power fantasy is there. Aon Koji probably could become so numb to even like the fear of death. I don't know, I just feel like the psychological parts of what makes ReZero so fun would be absent and be Ayano Koji just speedrunning, which could be fun to watch for a bit, but, you know, it'd get boring afterwards. What is my favorite fast food restaurant? Honestly, recently I have been enjoying this place called High Five Chicken a lot. Their quality of meats I don't think is even that better. They have a definitely higher upcharge compared to other fried chicken places near me, like Church's Chicken. But instead of their actual chicken meals where you get like a thigh and like drumsticks and fry combo like at churches that same three-piece combo would be like 12 bucks at the end with all things included you get a drink fry three-piece it's high five chicken that shit's like 16 18 dollars and like, what the fuck so i hated that place for a while but then i tried their sandwich menu and their spicy chicken sandwich menu is actually godlike for 15 bucks you can get a burger meal spicy chicken burger meal with like fries and drink which is still definitely on the higher side but if I compare that to, let's say, the same type of sandwich at churches, if the quality is not even the same and it's negligible in price. And if I check out McDonald's, again, the quality of the patty, the bun, everything, it's just much better. So recently, I am a high five chicken enjoyer. Are we going to do Akame Got Kill after Code Geass? So Akame Got Kill has been dropped on the Patreon side because... Akami Got Kill has been dropped um, because I picked up too many series to do at one time and now I'm falling behind in Code Geass as well. Akami Got Kill got introduced in June when I was thinking, I was panicking because I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to do full-time content creation. There's so much time I have instead of working, my daytime job. What can I do to make sure I'm productive? I thought that another Patreon exclusive would be the answer to try to keep more retention of existing members, but I'm realizing that I spread myself too thin. It's better to focus on delivering on one specific series rather than baits people with the promise of two separate shows and not deliver on both. So Akame Got Kill will be included in the next Patreon exclusive code by default because we've been already watching it. Do I appreciate donkeys? I don't really know what donkeys do. So I'm not sure if I can say I appreciate it. What anime will we watch after Vincent Rizro? Who knows? A community poll will decide that. You know those videos that I make where I ask you guys, you know, the most commented uh, series will be pulled for. The most liked comments, sorry, will be po pulled for, and then we pick off of that. 
What is my favorite animal? Dogs. Nah, raccoons. Raccoons are so cute. From the comments I've seen for the next community series, which comment interests me the most? Index. <laughs> Tawaru Index is actually like, didn't make it to the top four, but it's like fifth place. I am impressed that motherfuckers are voting an index. I thought that it would never happen, but like, there is like a lot of people voting for index, bro. What is my opinion on Subaru's overall character, good and bad? I think that again, he is a normal 17 year old that I can self insert to. All those prideful emotions, all the self entitlement, thinking he's special, having to, wanting to prove onto other people, wanting other people's acknowledgement through those actions. Very relatable character. Never seen an Isekai character that I can relate to so much than compared to Subaru. The good qualities we've seen when he absolves those sins and he decides to ask for help, right? We've seen what Natsuki Suwara can do, especially at the end of Arc 2, the way he handled the villagers. He saved the kids. He cares about the kids in an interesting way where he says he actually cares about them, but I think it's, again, one of those acting to be selfless or acting to be a good person rather than being a good person. I don't think he's a genuinely bad guy, though. I think, again, he represents the average person. Everyone is a flawed human being. Like, human beings are not perfect. We're irrational, emotional creatures. And even if we know objectively what's correct, right or wrong, our instincts sometimes override that. Because we're monkeys at the end of the day. Subaru is a wonderful representation of, I don't know, a normal person trying to handle shit. And honestly, I think he's doing a fantastic job. I don't think I could ever deal with the fucking trauma and distress that's been going on in ReZero. And the way that people hate on Subaru, I think that emotion, I think a lot of people watching ReZero, they don't even know how to process that emotion. In the same way how you see a villain, I think a common example is Joffrey in Game of Thrones, about how Joffrey's a fucking maniac and evil, and other people say, well, don't you think that the actor is actually doing such a fucking good job? that you should be happy that this character even made you feel those emotions. In the same sense, when Subaru was being so cringe and he lashes out on Amelia, right? That just shows how amazing of a character he can be. I'd much prefer a flawed character that's struggling and trying to get by rather than having a perfect, beautiful, handsome Ikemen just, just rush everything. That's not fun, right? So ReZero is really special in the sense that like the main character is just a regular dude, just a dumb teenager who is so selfish and egocentric and trying to overcome these things. And yeah, I, I think he's just, just been good. Whenever you get into the more Shonen series, One Piece remake. When Wit Studios comes with the One Piece remake, I think that we can cover that. How did I get my name? That's a sub count. That's a sub goal. Still waiting on board Bashimi's Rice Field? Yes, episode 10. Which genre do I think will win this community anime poll? It's kind of split right now. It's split between an isekai, power fantasy slash isekai, and slice of life rom-com. That Sakuraso pet anime could win. You never know. You really never know. Worst show I've watched. Let me think that for a second. The worst show I've watched. Recently, the first show that comes to my mind is Newgate and Remonster. Relative to the other shows we watch, bro, the adaptation is pretty lackluster, don't you think? It's not the worst show I've ever watched, though. Like, New Gates? Not good. It's not the worst thing. It's pretty bad, but... I don't know. Most of the animes that we watch together are carefully curated based on what people's interests are, and usually they're decent enough to watch, so I don't know what the worst show I've watched right now is. Can I drive? Yes, but I despise driving. Hot take. Hot take. I think that in the perfect ideal world, no one needs to drive. Everything would be public transport or efficient taxi services with AI and robots. I think that driving is such an insane concept. You see those retards commenting in the YouTube comment sections and realize that those same people also vote and can drive on the same road. Realize that even if you don't make any mistakes on the road, someone else's fault can kill you. Just think about how insane of a concept that is. I truly believe that 
humans should be revoked from their rights to drive only specifically trained professionals should be able to drive and there should be an infrastructure that allows everyone efficient transport without reliance on cars i think cars is propaganda fed onto the american public about how you need to live in the suburbs cars represent individualism independence nah all fucking propaganda that's my hot take iona koji would not get through the fear of death and re-zero really well is that your assumption or is this your author? Because, like, if there is the theme of death that gets mentioned in the light novel, then now nah, you're spoiling me. It's all right, though. If there is actual content in the light novel where Anakoji has this fear of death, then sure. But based on what I've seen in the anime, that dude is a cold killer. And I bet that he could fucking speedrun that shit and his emotions would not even exist. I mentioned that I want to go through with the VOD to make clips or shorts. The requirements? Um... Honestly, I don't even know, right? The ideal production value, right? So there's a channel called uh, More Tectone Clips right now, where Tectone literally has his main channel, and his second channel is literally just an editor that goes through the VOD, and, you know, whenever they go through little random takes, and you know, right, give an opinion about a specific topic, they're able to package that content and edit it in a way where it's digestible and it's easily farmed, but it's just a... It's not a thing that I have in mind, it's just like future possibilities. Did I see that Jujutsu Kaisen's ending in five? No way! JJK is ending? In five chapters? What? Huh. That's a surprise. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is it going to get shit on like My Hero Academia? We'll have to figure that out. Did My Hero Academia author and JJK author plan this together? Because those are... And Demon Slayer has already ended. The manga ended a while ago. It, it ended a while ago. But the anime is going to end soon. But... Oh. It's kind of sad, but hey, all good things, you know, comes to an end, right? My ca favorite character from Tensura? Let me think for a second. I think that my favorite character from Tensura... It's not Gopta. I appreciate Gopta a lot. It could be Masamune, but we have to let in more time to cook. I just enjoy his powers. Favorite character. Favorite character. I'm kind of a Leon Cromwell. <laughs> because of how tsundere he is and how kind of debate lordy he is. <laughs> Gaslighting the child. I did not kill her. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Give me a little bit more time. Mm, the main roster. I don't think that's anyone in Rimuru's faction. Maybe Diablo? Diablo's really cool. Diablo's really cool. Maybe it is Diablo. I need more time to think, but... I like meme characters like Gopta, Masayuki. Diablo's really sick. I feel like saying Guy Crimson's kind of cheap because we barely know anything about him. I'm only saying that because he's so powerful. Leon Cromwell is also very mysterious. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it is Diablo. I have to think about that. What's my... Uh, would you commission an artist for emotes and stuff? Absolutely, I would. Uh, no promises, but if I wanted more shit, it's just kind of difficult to, you know, because like if I say I will and an artist reach out and they draw shit and I say it's kind of bad and feelings get hurt, it's all business, right? But it's definitely not on the priority list, but I'd be open to that. What's my favorite type of dessert? Dessert. Ice cream? I don't know what flavor ice cream, but it's, it's got to be some kind of frozen dessert, I think. What's my favorite anime OST? There is no specific OST that's my favorite, but there's a bunch of composers that are my favorites. Uh, ReZero soundtrack, believe it or not, is done by the same guy who does Eminence in Shadow and Isekai Shikaku, which will we watch tonight. That's called, uh, what's it called? I think his name is Kenichiro Suehiro or some shit. And there's obviously... Yuki Kaijura, who is the soundtrack composer for shit like Fate series, SAO. It's hype. Bleach soundtrack, which is Shiro Sagizu. He does amazing soundtracks. There's this guy named Taku Iwasaki, who is probably a little bit lesser known, but he does amazing soundtracks too. And... And... Hiroyuki Sawano for Attack on Titan. It's funny that I understand, I know like soundtrack composers names more than actual voice actors who's my favorite mc usually i don't really like main characters at all 
I usually despise main characters and I like the supporting characters, but Subaru honestly has been a fantastic time. Rudy's for Kazuma? Easily Kazuma. Easily Kazuma. Not to say that Kazuma isn't free of faults of Rudy. I think the main reason why people hate Rudy is because of the pedophilic nature that he has. Whether, whether, whether or not you want to call him that is something for, up for debate, but it's definitely creepy. Kazuma is kind of creepy. But I guess the nature of the show is more lighthearted and more comedic, so it looks like Kazuma is better, right? What is my personally most anticipated next new show for next anime season? Mm, the yapping isekai. The isekai where the main character is a fucking yapper. That shit is hilarious concept. I hope it delivers. Do I ever get burnt out with content creation? No. Because... It's just fun. The only shitty part about the content creation part is just... Having monkeys opinions that I have to read because they're so dumb. But other than that, it's just a dream job. It's fun. The more that I grind the more I get out of it compared to standard jobs where it's a fruitless labor because you're working for someone else. I'm able to monetize my hobbies and it makes me want to work harder. It's very fulfilling. Hard to get burnt out from that. Why am I so based? Because I tell you how it is. And this isn't my ego. No, it is. I'm an egotistical maniac. Um, but I think a lot of content creators, they are scared. They're scared of how their viewers perceive them. So they'll try to mold around the chatters, their community. But that's wrong. They should be molding around you, right? But because a lot of people are scared, because like, oh no, what if I say something mean? Like, let's say, like, think about this. Let's say I was a Mushoku Tensei content creator, and I was afraid of the backlash I would get if I shoot on Rudy. And now you're cucked. You're literally fucking whipped by your own community, and you can't even give your own takes. And that's why they feel fucking fake, because they're fucking pandering to an audience. You should never do that, right? You need to be the one pointing the way. And you need to be fucking brutal and ruthless to the point that, you know what? If you're not my audience, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to be my genuine, authentic self. And people will form a community around me. And that's why you guys probably think that I am quote-unquote based. I'm not really. I'm just saying it how it is without being afraid of my opinions being perceived wrongly by community because it can never be perceived wrongly. I'm saying my genuine opinions and I think that everyone watching my content definitely can follow the logic. Any reasonable person can listen to my takes and have an agreement like, you know what, even if I don't agree with you, I, I accept the logic that caught you to get there and then we can have an honest conversation about it. But I think, again, a lot of people are just so scared about how they're going to lose followers, they're going to lose viewers if you say certain things. It's like, nah, bro. That's like you being insecure of your own content. If you're so, like, if you don't have any confidence in your own content and you know what you have to say, then, like, I think you're just doing it wrong. Well, I watch OG Beyblade, so I made a separate video on my second channel. One second. I made a video on the second channel called What I'm Gonna Do About Beyblade Burst and OG. And if you've seen other content creators like Anriku or React Zone other, or other content creators at Sunburst or OG Beyblade, they all have the same copyright holder known as ADK Emotions EXDR and they're willing to strike you. Now obviously you can refute the strikes and you can win and start making content around it again, but I don't think I need to rely on it. So. Part of me hopes that uh, Inazuma 11 will be the next thing after Metal Fusion. But hey, they're Metal Masters or Metal Saga because there's Metal Fewer. But hey, doesn't mean that OG and uh, Burst is off the table. You never know. Why is my hair color white? Uh, it's actually gray. It's supposed to be gray, but the lighting makes it seem like that. How do I feel about people hyping up a particular episode like Peak Incoming? So there's nothing I can do about this, right? And here's the thing. The more that you try to... Like, for example, if people spoil me, and if I get mad at the spoilers, do you think that that's going to prevent the spoilers from happening? The sharks will smell blood in the water and continue to chase after you. It's in my best interest to ignore the spoilers and handle it in my own way. So, taking that example, when people hype a particular episode, I could say, if you do this shit, I'll ban you. But... People are still going to do it regardless. So it's just part of the game. Obviously, some episodes will definitely be overhyped. The expectations are going to be too high. Maybe it's going to underdeliver, but that's just nature of the game. And it's up to me to kind of manage that without 
lashing out or getting mad because again all that's gonna do is make the situation worse the more you acknowledge the more worse it'll get if you understand what i'm saying do i think that cosma could develop well in re-zero <laughs> well it's hard to like imagine that right it's hard to imagine that because the cosma we know is just from a comedic show right it's like how the fuck could we ever imagine cosma in like an actual serious serious arc now, season 3 at the end, it did get serious of darkness, but the comedic element was still there. I just can't imagine Kazuma in ReZero. It would be comical, I would love to see it, but I just... I just can't imagine how the fuck he would do here. Thank you, Tennis Crow, for the tier 1 sub, man. I appreciate that. Newgate was so mid, genuinely it was. Yo, it's been my nightly routine to watch your reactions as I go to bed. LAMAU! Just wondered if there's one scheduled for today. Okay, rule number one. If you ask, I ban you. Rule number two, anyone answers, you get banned. I will not obviously ban you. Yes, there's gonna be re-zero. But hey, any new people showing up, I will never tell you what, you know, what shows we've watched, when we're gonna watch it. And if you ask and someone answers, both of you are gonna get banned. Do I still remember nobody remembers the anime? No. And there was a brutal comment on the last video that said, <laughs> It's funny because no one's going to remember this series just like this fucking title of this show. And hey, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way it was dealt, right? I mean, nobody remembers me. The animation quality was there. The soundtrack was there. The voice acting was probably there. But the lack of world building. And maybe it's not the lack of world building, but the lack of... Like, I wasn't able to get... I wasn't able to immerse myself in Nobody Remembers Me. They're trying to be big brain. I see it. I see that they're trying to have an actual fucking interesting plot, but I just I just thought it was so mid, bro. I re-zero episode one immediately. Just boom. I was like, yup, this shit is me. I love this world. I wanna know more. Nobody remembers me is like, oh, okay. This is This is interesting. Let's see where it goes. I don't know. I I can't just For whatever reason, I just can't, you know. I don't know how to explain why I feel like this. It's just inherently in my soul I feel that way about ReZero and not nobody remembers me. I think it has to do with the world building and me just not giving a fuck about that world. Let's see. Where's the next comment? One second. Why do I remember uh, remove clips here in Twitch? Because there's going to be a lot of rats and a lot of retards that's trying to clip me out of context and try to start up drama. So it's a liability. Favorite waifu? Quinella. I, I like Quinella a lot. Tensai Verts, thank you for the tier one sub. What is my what am I gonna do about Sarah again, Soki Spirit Chronicles? Listen, remember Last Crusade? Remember Last Crusade? What happened when we tried to brute force Last Crusade because it was gonna have a second season? Not a good idea, right? So unless it wins. I probably won't try it. Maybe we can brute force it just to test it and back off if it doesn't do well. But yeah, that's probably going to be what's going to what we're going to do about that. Kenichiro Suihiro also does ReZero. You are a fucking monkey. I literally said ReZero, Eminence in Shadow, Isekai Shikaku, and you fucking comment as if I was wrong. Fuck you. I literally said ReZero. Favorite music genre. I like orchestral composition soundtracks, video game soundtracks, anime soundtracks. I love classical music too, movie soundtracks. I don't really like lyrics. I, I enjoy more of like sound instrumentals, stuff like that. What do I think about Shikano, Shikaku Isekai? I have no idea what the fuck Shikaku is, but if you're talking about Isekai Shikaku, one of the better isekais this season, and I am definitely hedging towards minimum 7.5 out of 10 so far, and it could be 8 if it can deliver a better story. Chomosuke or Puck? I was gonna power scale Chomusuke to be funny, but Chomusuke technically has half of the other dark god within Chomusuke. If you actually watch the Megumin spinoff, Chomusuke is insanely powerful, or should be. So I'm not sure. What step can a person take to understand their YouTube audience? Simply just by doing a shotgun approach. Like, look at my second channel. If you can, like, my second channel is literally a blue, it's like for reaction content. It is a template that anyone can see. And if you can understand, then you can just copy that strategy, right? 
in the beginning, I tried, like, I didn't know who my audience was. So I tried random shit, right? I tried has been hotel i tried hell of a boss i tried gravity falls but it doesn't seem like there was much traction and then i tried beyblade openings boom there it is and that's it that's my audience it's a shotgun approach you test you test and something pops off you you fucking commit there my content is removing instruments from anime music and that's the thing right sometimes even though you're taking my concepts into your own niche sometimes maybe you should pick a different niche because like, if your thing about, if your content is all about, you know, anime music edits, it's really cre hard to create a community off that because people, what I've seen is people only care about specific, you know, anime soundtracks when they pop off, right? And now you're reliant on lucky opportunities to then capitalize. You can't just create your own videos. Like, what am I doing right now? This q and I don't need trends. I'm literally just working with my community. And it's really hard to make a community off of your music content. Now, you could potentially teach people how to remove that content. It could become an educational way and people would more music editing people would enjoy. But sometimes it's good to figure out like you're climbing a ladder right now and you're trying really hard to climb that ladder. But maybe the right approach is you should climb a different ladder. If you understand what I'm saying, there are limitations with your niche and my concepts may not apply to your niche. Doesn't mean you should give up on the anime music stuff, right? And honestly, it's not like you're spending every day fucking editing that content either, right? What I would do if I were you is understand the trends, right? Understand different, like ReZero Season 3 is showing up. I bet a lot of people are going to look for specific soundtracks from ReZero Season 3. So I'll be there ready for that. But in the downtime, when I know there's no huge trends, I would focus on a different niche. I would figure out something else that I'm passionate about to create content on and have those two things juggling rather than trying to fucking only figure out how to climb this one ladder, right? One second. What is my favorite villain antagonist currently? Better use Romani Conti. This. Do you think there is an enemy where there a character who suffers more than Subaru? Well, apparently in Index, man, we watched that. Uh. We watched that one chart video, right? And apparently the Index character, they also infinitely suffer. I heard that Diavolo is currently also still suffering, so maybe there are. Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Inazuma 11. I've seen a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! during my childhood, but not of Inazuma 11, so who knows? Is that the second content, second channel? We could do both. Will I review ReZero Cut content video? Motherfucker, where have you been? I've already done all of it, and we're waiting for season two. Do I have a favorite isekai right now? Probably ReZero. Let's see. Any other questions? Let's see. Fave and least favorite romance. My favorite rom-com probably still is Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I also love Tomo-chan is a Girl. I love Dangers in My Heart. My least favorite is rom-coms probably like... Angel Next Door isn't bad. It's not bad. It's just, it's too gushy. It's not, it's just my personal preference. I'm, I'm, I prefer more calm than rom. And if it's too dramatic and melodramatic and gushy gushy, I don't know, man. Like Angel Next Door is a great anime. It's just, it's not my type of anime romance. One second. Honestly, Angel Next Door is still better than like, Kubo won't leave me alone. Those animes where the main character literally does not deserve anything and they're just a fucking silent beta cuck wet cardboard of a personality MC. Fuck those rom-coms, bro. Angel Next Door is fine. What is the least favorite anime you've seen this season? Least favorite. Let me think. least favorite Giji Harm I'm sorry I'm sorry episode 1 was funny but the entire series is the same gag over and over and no development and that's fine it's a four coma it's a different format it's just I'm not the target audience it's just Giji Harm was episode 1 I enjoyed it's just like I'm like oh, okay this is pretty much what it is it's, it doesn't mean it's bad it's just Compared to the other shit I'm watching, it's, I don't know. How do I have the patience to grind out so many videos per day? 
I mean, I'm only streaming realistically for seven hours, six to seven hours. It's not hard, bro. Like, if you're having fun, it's easy. You guys think that this is like hard work and labor, but like, I'm just having fun. Did I watch Genshin's Orchestra? I haven't. I should check that out though. Holy shit. Good call. Natland soundtrack on its way. Apparently, Yu Peng Chen has changed. It's no longer Yu Peng Chen doing it anymore, so apparently it changed. Asna or Alice? Quinella. I did see the Fate collab. If I had to react to a cartoon, what would it be? Beyblade. I love Beyblade. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? What do I want to see more of in ReZero? More Better Goose voice acting. Did I enjoy Bungo's... I've never seen BSD. Do I eat ass? Sub goal. What is a character I hate but everyone loves? Hate but everyone loves. Rachel. Yeah, Anna Yanami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna Yanami. No, that's a good one. I was gonna say Rachel, but everyone doesn't love Rachel. Uh, yeah, Anna. I, I have an, I have an irrational hate for that blue-haired bitch in that show, but it's honestly so unwarranted. <laughs> Is there any anime, anime I would personally want to start watching? Yes, Hunter Hunter, Black Clover, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Fire Force, JoJo series. What else? What else? What else? It's Battle Shonens. Do I have a humidifier? Yes, there is. The humidifier is literally right beside the cannon towers. If a patron exclusive anime like Fridays the Assassin gets a season two, will I cover it? Um, we will try out uploading each episode. And if the performance is there, then I will upload onto YouTube and cover season two. If not, then I will stop. It's it's all that. It's all dependent on the YouTube performance. My favorite comedy anime. I feel like it's a cheap answer to say Konosuba, but it is really good, is it not? Worst MC. Takemichi from the delinquent anime or the shitty Kazuya guy from Rent a Girlfriend, even though I haven't seen both animes, I hear their shit. What's my first anime? Probably Dragon Ball. Hi, first time here. Had to just come at night. Not a question to ask you, but just to say I really like your reactions. Aw, thank you, HS Destructor 13. And that's it. That's it. I'm cutting it off here. Thank you for coming into another Q&A sessions. You want to ask me direct questions? You better make it to the live streams. I'll see you next time.